Hi, I'm Sharon Bridgeforth, and today I want to offer a moving into the new year reading. Um, before I do, though, I want to say that I am so proud to share that all aspects of the That Black Mermaid Man Lady Project will premiere in 2018. So there is the Dat Black Mermaid Man Lady Home Project um, that will call forward very soon a cohort of artists of color based in Minneapolis to receive artistic mentorship from me and uh, mentorship in home buying from our local Minneapolis-based partners. So shout out to Molly Van Avery, our project coordinator, for bringing our partners in and for helping to move the project forward in that way. And we are doing this in honor of and in lo loving memory of our beloved Lori Carlos. So check the website for more information on that. The link is below. Also, I cannot wait for this. Pillsbury House Theater in Minneapolis is producing the world premiere of the Dat Black Mermaid Man Lady show. What? Uh, Ebony Noel Golden will be the director and the show will run May 23rd through June 10th, 2018 at Pillsbury House Theater. So again, we'll post information on the website as we have it. Um, there is the That Black Mermaid Man Lady performance installation, which I'm so excited uh, to say that we are moving forward, um, my collaborators and I. So my daughter, Sonia Perryman, is a collaborator, and our beloved uh, Walter Katundu is a collaborator, and we are going to do an invited experiment with the performance installation in Los Angeles on February 18th, 2018. Um, and so if you're interested in coming to that, you know, hit me up and I'll give you more information. But we are moving that forward and we are excited um, that that is going to be a big part of the That Black Mermaid Man Lady Home Project. Um, and as some of you know, uh, there is the Dat Black Mermaid Man Lady Oracle Deck. What? With artwork by Yasmin Hernandez. I send so much love. Me and the mermaids are sending love, Yasmin, to you and your family and your loved ones and all our people in Puerto Rico, to the island and the waters and the air and the earth and all therein. We know that um, powerfully, together, powerfully in spirit, powerfully in prayer, powerfully in light, all is made well. Um, so just sending love and to everyone everywhere that's been impacted by um, the hurricanes and by other forms of disaster, some of which have been human and from the White House, but anyway. Uh, but yeah, sending love and light to everyone everywhere and um, in this moment, most especially to our beloved Yasmin Hernandez who did the artwork for the Oracle deck. Um, the Dat Black Mermaid Man Lady Oracle deck, um, so the oracles, there are nine oracles and these oracles are actually characters from the Dat Black Mermaid Man Lady show. So each oracle speaks on four things and the things that they say are from the script. I am excited to say that soon, soon, there will be an audio recording of the show. And so um, folks that have the deck will get to hear basically the origin stories of the oracles. And so more information about that to come. I'm not selling the deck right now, um, but we'll go back to that soon. And there, oh God, there's some, the mermaids have been so busy. Let me just get on with the readings. So I'm going to pull an oracle card uh, and uh, from the Dat Black Mermaid Man Lady Oracle deck. And I'm going to pull a blessing from the Dat Black Mermaid Man Lady um, deck of blessings. So I'll pull the card first from the oracle deck. My This is an ancestor deck. It's all about love. Um, it's an ocean deck, so it's always about what's under the surface. And um, I think for me, the question is always, what does infinite love want us to know? 
Um, so in this moment, as we move forward into a new year, as we come together in all of our collective power and divine knowing and light, as we make the change that we want in this world, in our spirits, our bodies, our hearts, in our relationships, and for us globally, collectively, for our earth and all therein, what is the energy that we're invited to move forward with? Okay, so let me just pull a card. Let's see what the mermaids say. All right. And okay, here we go. <laughs> so it is the Dat Black Mermaid Man Lady card. In the world of this deck, this is the only oracle that is actually a force of nature and not an ancestor. So this is essentially the great mystery that is the ocean, um, the great mystery that holds our dreams, our deepest feelings, our secrets, our wealth, our ancestors. It holds all the knowledge and power that is us in all sides of the veil. And it, that Black Mermaid Man Lady is suggesting that we move forward with an energy that's um, basically, it says, let your subconscious mind emerge. They down there, they down there, they down there. They look at me, they eyes, they pierce. I know they're trying to tell me something, but I always wake up right when they mouths open, right when they mouths open, fishes and fishes and pearls flow out. I guess for me, what this is saying is that we are held, we are loved, the prayers have been prayed, the ancestors are mighty, and we already have everything that we need and we already know what to do, okay? So let's just move forward from the subconscious mind, which is the place of divine knowing. So it is the place that where we are most connected with infinite love, with ancestral um, calling, with divine will, with our own power, with our deepest purpose, that's, that's, what, that's what this next moment is about. Okay, we're going to do this, y'all. All right. And then I'm going to pull a blessing. And I'll tell you a little about the blessings before I pull one. Um, I was thinking, wondering, needing to know what I would tell myself as a child if I could go back and talk to my eight-year-old self. Um, that young person that I think still shows up to protect me and to guide me and um, is very often still afraid. And so me, the adult, what would I tell that child was my question. And so I started writing these blessings. And then it became something else. I, I realized that maybe actually this is what the child is telling me. Or perhaps this is what my child, my adult child in her soul is telling me, maybe this is, these are the things that my mother would say to me if she could, whatever it is. Um, I think it's for me, it's, it's a soul yearning, uh, a soul connection, a soul blessing. So the blessing as we carry forward this energy, of letting our subconscious mind emerge. The blessing, the help, the calling is <laughs> number 38. Remember, hummingbirds follow you. Bees dress on you, but don't sting. Butterflies are everywhere. Pay attention. Sometimes love speaks in silence. So again, I feel like the invitation is to be in our deep, embodied, grounded, spiritual knowing that we got this and that individually, that collectively, that communally, that spiritually, we can move forward with grace and with the support of the great mysteries of love and we can make and be the change that we want and need and dream of. All right. 
Happy so it is. See you soon.